Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. The mission of Osprey Village is to develop and operate a community where developmentally disabled adults can live as independently as possible with seniors, volunteer, families, and staff in service of one another. Joining us today are Channing Heiss and Susan Doubles to tell us about the upcoming Osprey Village Pro Bowl Open presented by Charter One Realty in an effort to support this community development. Welcome to the show. Hi, I say welcome Hello. back to the show and Happy New Year. Hi, Sandy. It's great to see Happy you again. New Thank Year to you. you. So uh, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the party and how the idea for the Pro Bowl actually came about. Okay. We uh, had in the past given holiday luncheons for five years and they were very successful. We had great attendance, yaddy daddy do. But at this last year's board meeting, we were uh, just brainstorming what could we do different and uh, we were very blessed to get Kenny Anderson, the Pro Bowl football player, onto our board. He's a very uh, empathetic, caring humanitarian. And so we were chatting about it, and he says, you know, we had this bowling event in Cincinnati, and it was fun. So then we just started building on that, and the concept caught on, and we contact contacted Station 300, and we it's are in the deal. midst of a, yes, yes, very exciting fundraiser. That's so much fun. Um, quickly, I'm going to let you tell us a little bit about the fundraiser, where, when. Sure. It's at um, Station 300 mm -hmm. out at Buckwalder, off of Buckwalder mm -hmm. uh, Parkway. It's in an area called Buckwalder Place. And uh, it's 6 to 10 on Sunday evening, January 25th. January 25th. And the fun thing about the name, I think, is that Kenny, our host, is the Pro Bowl football player, okay? Go Bengals. So, yeah, yeah. Go Bengals. <laughs> so uh, now we are having the Pro Bowl Open, B-O-W-L. Also, it's the day of the Pro Bowl football game. So you can do, you can you. bowl, you can watch the game with Kenny on huge big screens, you can. And the venue's uh, fabulous. Oh. I mean, they you, you can do whatever you want to do, anywhere you want to do it. And, yes. and the bowling is, is just, it's, right. just, it's a blast. Silent auction, target the band music to dance, putt putt competition. Yeah, it's, it's just really, gonna be you've got a, a whole list of things. And we will have the website up and it does tell everything. Thank you. So give us a little background on the origins of Osprey Village. Or. Uh, Osprey Village was started seven years ago by a group of parents in southern Beaufort County. There were no any kind of residential living homes. And the system is so archaic in South Carolina that when your loved one gets to the list where they're going to give them the residential waiver, if a bed is available in Sumter, they go. If it's available in Columbia, they go. And we decided as a group that we were going to have a community endeavored operation for our adults to live and work and play and in keep the community. them close to their families and in a close-knit close close community exactly so we have been working seven years we've had some bumps and all but we have an absolutely devoted loving board Wonderful. and uh, we have men uh, and women on the board that are extremely talented so terrific Channing, back to the Pro Bowl ball. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about your sponsors and are you looking for additional sponsors? Oh, we're so excited. It's going so well. We've got about, um, about 20 uh, business sponsors, which is fantastic. We're expecting even to get more than that. We have well over 100 bowlers heading toward 150 bowlers wow. for our bowling lanes. So it's almost filled up. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're encouraging everybody to, if you're, if you're interested in doing that, sign up. It's going just great. And we're, yeah. we're looking forward to having it go even better. We're looking forward to seeing everybody. And um, how can our community continue to support, empower, and advance our fellow citizens who have developmental disabilities? Well, the thing to remember, Sandy, is that there's, there are things that every person watching right now can do as citizens of this community. Um, the business community can help with their great leadership in our area, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, every individual. It's about uh, acceptance, respect, it's about fostering familiarity, it's about fostering opportunity. 
because at the end of the day, we're all just people doing the best we can with what we have, and it's about making sure that people can have the most uh, successful and the happiest lives that they're capable of having. Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, you're right. So the event is January 25th, mm -hmm. Susan, at Station 300 from 6.30 to 10.30. 6 to 10. 6 to 10, 6 right. to 10, and all the details will be on uh, your website, on Facebook, and people can Absolutely. call. Absolutely, and there's tickets available at the door. Oh, wonderful. That's good. I'm glad you said that. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, Thank you, you, Sandy. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.